A month ago, retired Major Rubaramira Ruranga decamped from the opposition and joined the NRM. Now, a vocal opposition member and critic of the NRM system since 2001 when he joined Dr. Kizabesje's reform agenda, Ruranga shocked many when he crossed to the ruling party. Tonight, we ask, who is next and why the defection? That on Newsnight. Welcome to Newsnight. Uh, many thanks, Andrew, again for joining us. Um, researcher, journalist, CEO of The Independent. And again, you won't famously call yourself the old man of the clan. Um, Ranga's decamping, or um, his switch from the FDC to the NIM, caught many by surprise. But however, critics of the system, and even those who were observing matters at the FDC, were not actually surprised. Uh, did it surprise you? No, I was not surprised, but for me, I'm sure for the different reasons. You see, I, I should tell you, Maurice, that the Museveni is a very lucky man. How lucky? Because I think that the, his opponents have driven directly into his hands. I think that Museveni has a deliberate strategy to make Vesige remain the most important symbol of opposition politics. Because Museveni understands Vesige's limitations. He knows that Vesige is very strong at rallying the base motivating the support of the most fanatical opponents of Museveni. But he's incapable of growing the base of the opposition to attract independents, to attract NRA moderates, to even attract FDC moderates. So that's why I'm sure he keeps beating up Vesija and arresting him so that Vesija can remain the symbol of opposition politics because that sucks air out of opposition uh, politics. To address the, con the issues of the opposition, you need the opposition that can sit a leadership that can sit and be very in self-critical internally so that they understand what are their core weaknesses. Inside, the opposition today is held together by one factor, opposition to Museveni. They do not have an overarching ideology that unites them. They do not have an effective organization with sufficient control mechanisms to keep a member. They do not have sufficient resources, power and status to give to the members. They have nothing to unite them. They are united by one thing, hostility to Museveni. In other words, by the way, the opposition suffers a strategic risk because if Museveni dropped dead or retired or resigned, what will be their platform? You see, they lose their core platform because they don't have an alternative policy agenda or a series of interests around which they are united. I now, would disagree. When you look at the opposition's manifesto, if you look at uh, Besage's manifesto in the last two elections, mm -hmm. he clearly has a set out plan on how they would change government, on how they would provide services on how they would um, run government and 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 you cannot say if their opposition is against the person of the president or you know i.e his excellency president museveni then that agenda would clearly not be why would people like betty kamia and many others run to the opposition just because they're trying to fight one man called president museveni well i should tell you that uh, i do not know where you get that from i have seen messages say i will improve health care i'll improve Agriculture, education, I'll improve agricul education, yes. yes. Those are platitudes, those are statements of intent. They are not the policies. Do you, do you understand? If you ask the messenger what is his health care policy and what is his, uh, the, the reforms and innovations in management that he wants to bring, he, he will be blank. In any case, when Rwaramira uh, Ruranga uh, uh, left, yes. he wrote an article in the Independent. It was just published in Monitor, I think, in New Vision. And he stated that his struggle is not about ideology. It's not about policy, even if these are important. His struggle is a liberation struggle. So it was such an abstract thing. What does that mean? Liberation from thugs. I don't understand those things. But let me tell you, Maurice, f so many FDC members. Let me give you the history. Yes. Throughout Museven's electoral history, towards every election, Museven historically suffered what I would call political attrition. In 1996, the Museven suffered because his alliance with the DP broke down and members of DP walked out of the NRM and went to run with Samuel Gerrit. Yes. In 2001, Besige, Winnie Bianyema, Sam Munjuba, and many younger supporters of Museveni walked away from NRM and went and joined Besige to oppose Museveni. In 2006, you had the largest exit out of NRM. You have people like Amanya Mshega, you have people like Mdisha Muntu, you have people like Eria Kategaya, uh, Matthew Chikaire, Miriam Tembe, John Kazora, Agustin Ruzindana, Wafula Ogutu. A large number of people disagreed with Museveni and quit NRM and went to support Besige. Yes. Right? What happened in 2011? And I'm going to show you how these things have been happening. And the, the people in the opposition 
are trying, including Vesija, they want to retain supporters through blackmail by saying Museven has bribed you because you have raised the internal weaknesses in the opposition. Museven has bribed you. They, they want are to black weaknesses Listen, in the movement. Too. Uh, yes. yes, but you see, the, in, in, the movement has one strong advantage. Yes. They have power. With power, they can give jobs, they can give groceries, they can give status, they can give influence. There's so many things you can do with yes. power which can yes. keep people together. Yes. But if you're in the opposition, what keeps you together? But let me tell you this. Yes. In spite of Museven's advantages of the state, every election year, he suffered attrition up to 2006. Between 2009 and 2011 or 2010, we saw Alex Onzima, yes. who was vice chairman, national vice chairman of FDC. We saw people like uh, uh, Obote's son, Jimmy. Yes. We do, so, uh, we saw uh, Richard Kajuka go quiet. We saw Ma Ma Mushaga refused to run for a, a constituents. We saw many people leave FDC. Real leaders of FDC. The yes, then we had yes. people like Chris Wakasis, Jacob yes. Walanya. You had so many leaders of FDC, UPC and DP were walking back to NRM. Let me tell you, Morris, people can go and hang me there. For me, as a person who believes, I support people who want to oppose Museveni, but I want to support them in principle. That we must sit and ask, what is happening to us? Why are senior leaders who are every time walking away from Museveni, why are they going back to him? Let me tell you one of the things. The opposition has at under Wesige and um, Lukwago and the other extremists. You see, Wesige and Lukwago are hostages of the extremist wings of the opposition. Because they become hostages, because any attempt to find accommodation with Museveni, they say you have been bribed. But they, are not, they don't mean it. They are using it as an instrument of blackmail because by damaging your reputation before their own audience, they can force you to adopt the extreme position. Now, this is what has happened, is that the opposition has restricted to retaining support via political blackmail through de de damaging people's reputation rather than articulating a unifying vision. Now, my seven strategy is this. You are either against me or you are with me. Besija and Lukwago's position has become that you are either with me or against me. You see, me, I am not with Besija, but I am not against him. If I criticize him, he means I'm against him. So, in other words, the strategy they have adopted, A, of any form of criticism, but come your left, FDC. Let me tell you, Regan Okum has gone silent. Morris Ogeng Ogenga Latigo, where is he? He was a key voice. All these politicians are leaving. You cannot lead an organization and people are exiting all the time and all you can do is write articles in newspapers and said, when the dictatorship is there, it bribes people. So you begin retreating by finding excuses for failures that are internal. We need an yes. assessment inside the FDC. But we cannot to take say, it away what from is him. It? Let me we tell you this, Morris. Just yes. give me one second. Yes. Morris, it is so important. And I appeal to you people in the opposition. Yes. Please hold a meeting and ask a question. Why are our members defecting? Stop this nonsense. People have been bribed. And finally, Andrew, but you, you cannot see, take it yeah. away from the fact that in the system, mm. even as they run government, as the, as the ruling party, they have resources that are can actually put, put on the table for members of the opposition. I agree with and you. And say it may not even be cash. They say, listen, there is this we position. Are with, with, I agree, yeah, Morris. I we, agree can, Morris. we can appoint so, your ambassador. So let us answer the historical question. Yes. NRM did not come to power in 2011. NRM came to power in 1996. Why is it that in 1996 it suffered a massive mo walkout by DP leaders? And Those 2001, yes. 2001, what led Besige, uh, Sam Munjuba, uh, uh, and all these other people to, to walk away in 2006, between 2003 and 2006? What led all these Kajukas and Amanyam Shagas and the Muntus to walk away? You cannot say that because of the possession of state power and the privileges and status that goes with the power, that is sufficient to keep people with Museveni. Many people have left Museveni, joined the FDC. They decided to quietly withdraw from FDC without saying anything. They have kept quiet. Why? FDC, UPC, DP need to sit down on a table and say what is internal to us that is the problem. Why are our members leaving? Let me tell you another thing. I went to Northern Uganda, toward the whole of Northern Uganda. LC3 chairman. LC3 councillors, LC5 chairman, LC5 councillors, up to LC2. People are crossing over back to the NRM. Why? Or even who have never been in NRM going there. The question is why? That requires a very brutal attempt at self-criticism. You say, mm, what mm, are my weaknesses? Mm, mm. The second thing, which is governance. You see, when the opposition lost an election, it was important to sit and say, why are the reasons we lost? And if we have lost an election, what should be our strategy? Because remember that although you are a member of the opposition, it is always important to retain a level of credibility with people in the government. Mm. If you adopt a stance that people in the government are thugs, thieves, murderers, 
thugs as messenger calls them. You destroy any ability to have accommodation. But if you're a member of parliament representing your constituents, you may need a clinic, a school, a bridge in your area. You must be able to reach out to people in the government and they come and do things in your constituency even if you don't support them. You, you don't belong to the ruling party. Yes. Two, even when you stand up to speak in the parliament, do you understand? Next week, a women debate is going to take place. If a member of the opposition studies these documents and makes a constructive criticism, let me tell you, I have experience personally. I am impressed by how much you can influence this government. Ask Goldberg to Mushabe. He's a leading critic of this government. Me and him did a study on public administration spending, and we mobilized the whole government that there must be increased funding for energy, for infrastructure, for education and health. Let me tell you, the Minister of Finance replied in the next budget. They doubled the budget for roads because of the work of accord. Who's executive director at that time? Godbert Mishapa was a big critic of government. They listened to us. Not only that, government of Uganda proceeded to hire Godbert Mishapa on the environment as an expert, as a consultant to advise them. So it is not true that if you disagree with this government, no one will talk to you. There are so many opportunities of engagement, of constructive engagement. Yes. We disagree to disagree, yes. but where there is a point of agreement, we can work together. Now, right. that attitude has, fall, has been defeated. Maurice, let me finish. Why has it been defeated? Because the leaders of the opposition, especially a person like Besiji, has said that the extremist youth, frustrated, angry, who want to see insults and abuses, held at seven, have dominated his thinking. So he, in order to pander to that tiny minority, he has excluded so many people and others have gone silent, other leaders, others have walked out of the party. And we have to hold it there. This discussion may never stop. But again, thank you very much for that insight. And that was Newsnight.